Welcome back to our final segment of Ferris Sports Update. Time to talk men's basketball. I'm with us, head coach Andy Bronkema. And first of all, coach, uh, welcome back to the show. Thank you. I know uh, last week we kind of talked about your first exhibition game against Oakland University, and, and obviously uh, here this past Saturday, your second game against Calvin. Uh, talk about uh, some of the adjustments uh, you made and, and how you improved from uh, exhibition game number one to exhibition game number two. Well, we pointed out a few things defensively that we wanted to work on, uh, staying in the passing lane and, and our attacking help on the baseline. But uh, mostly pointed out some of the positives, some of the things that we were able to do against Oakland that we practice every day. And just want to emphasize, you know, our style of play and what we like to do. We run the court and pass the ball. We were able to show a bunch of those clips against Oakland and uh, to encourage our guys to keep doing the same thing. Had a chance to do a lot of that uh, at home this past Saturday and uh, always nice to play in front of the home fans. Uh, first time at Wink Arena and uh, talk about what that meant for your kids. Well, it's good to get the season started at uh, Wink Arena. It was good to see the fans and, and the loyal fans that we have. And, you know, just being at home and getting used to that home routine uh, does help out for the exhibition game. And, you know, playing Calvin's always a good time because they bring the fans and it's a pretty nice little rivalry. As we go to the highlights of this exhibition game, uh, Calvin, Ferris State, a longstanding uh, history, 80-plus uh, regular season matchups in uh, the fourth or fifth year in a row. You've had a chance to play them here in the exhibition season. Yeah, you know what? Cal Calvin's just a great contest for us early. You know, three years ago they beat us. Um, two years ago we were up big at halftime. And then, uh, you know, they cut it to one, and I think it was a one-point victory. And last year they were beating us at half, and we played a solid second half and won by 15. And, you know, this year was a little different for us. We, we jumped out on them, and I think it's just a sign of our, our maturity. We have some veterans who uh, were dialed in and focused, and it's, it's good to show that... Uh, you know, that, that we're dominant against the number one team in the MIAA. So. Here we see James Chappelle uh, with the bucket, and he led the way with 18 points, and great to have him back on the floor of the season. Well, James ju just brings to the table some things we didn't have last year. You know, we run a jailbreak on any steal or uh, turnover, and he gets down the floor better than um, most people that, uh, that I've been able to coach. So, you know, one or two dribbles, and he's down the floor making, making a play at the rim or dishing it off to somebody else. So that's a special talent that he has. See a freshman uh, right here with a basket. Uh, had a chance to work on uh, a lot of younger kids here in this ball game. Yeah, it, was, it was good to see some of those guys. You know, Noah um, was, was plenty ready to play against Oakland. He didn't get in the game, um, but made some nice plays in this game for us. Um, didn't, didn't make his jump shots at the end, but uh, certainly is a guy who can stretch the floor and shoot it. Big lead at halftime, uh, shot nearly 60% in the first half, and uh, here we see Jared Stelliker going to work in the second half. Well, our, de our defense led to offense. You know, we got a lot of easy runouts. Um, we're just a little more physical and athletic than, than they were, and they had a couple starters out, and, uh, you know, I just think that a couple of their young guards had a hard time with our pressure, and we got a couple easy buckets because of it. Had a chance uh, here, as, as we'll see in the later stages of the, this half, really to get those freshmen in there and uh, kind of find out what they can do. Yeah, we're, we're making that final decision of who's going to redshirt and who's going to be in the rotation. So it was, it was nice to see guys, guys play. And uh, even if they don't get major minutes this year, we know our future is going to be bright with these young guys. Bulldogs win it 92-58, to 58, uh, wraps up the exhibition season, and now you get ready uh, for, the, for the start, uh, the official start of the regular season. Yeah, we're excited about being in this in this uh, tournament early on, the first weekend of play, and uh, eventually hosting it a few years from now. But uh, two solid Division II teams, and we just kind of got to take uh, what we did against Kelvin and, and be able to do um, that sort of thing against a Division II opponent, uh, in-region opponent, and we're looking forward to the challenge. You head out to Quincy, Illinois this weekend, as you mentioned, for the GLEAC GLBC uh, Challenge, and uh, talk about the field of the of four teams that's in that tournament, and uh, certainly the two games you're going to play against Quincy and against Missouri-St. Louis. Well, I think all four teams are expecting to be better than they were last year, so that makes it an interesting field, and uh, you know, it being away from home, uh, gives them a slight advantage, but uh, we're we're ready to go down there and compete and see what happens. A long uh, trip in terms of the travel. Uh, talk about uh, your team uh, taking them on the road and, and how that helps uh, you here get ready for the conference season. Well, I think, you know, going back to last year and going out to Winona, I mean, that was a brutal road trip for us. And I think if we can draw on that and, and a few of the experiences we had before and take them with us during this experience, uh, minus the losses, uh, I think we could draw on that, but we have a veteran team, and so far um, I've been nervous about a few things, um, and every time our veterans have came through with some maturity 
and a good approach to things. How much do you know about uh, Quincy as you get ready for Saturday's opener and then uh, following it up on Sunday with Missouri-St. Louis? Well, we were able to take a look here at, at Calvin and, and clip out some of the film and, and get better from that. But uh, today we started to dive in uh, to the two teams we're playing. Uh, we're going to have to do a little advanced scout since it's back-to-back. I -back. Um, you know they brought in some transfers and, and, and returned some players that uh, were pretty productive for them last year. So. I was working on their style of play and offense, and we'll, we'll get it down pat and, and uh, let our guys know how to defend it and put them in position to, to make the plays to win. Two uh, Great Lakes Valley Conference opponents here in the opening weekend, then next week uh, on the road at St. Joseph's in the middle of the week, and another GLVC opponent, and uh, those three teams all from a, a strong conference with a great basketball tradition. Well, a couple teams, you know, we're back playing St. Joe, which is nice, and then obviously we've been back and forth with Lewis for a few years and, and some real tight games, so... Um, if, if you're going to have a, a successful season, you do have to prove yourself in the in-region games, the crossover games, and uh, we have a schedule that's built to do that. So if, if we play well, I like our chances. You get these three games on the road uh, behind you, and then you've got uh, an opportunity here for the home fans uh, kind of right around the Thanksgiving holiday uh, that week uh, with three home games. Well, it'll feel like a long time on the road, but once we get to the home games, it, it'll be real nice. I think the community is ready for uh, some championship basketball. Um, you know, we're celebrating a, a football championship and a, and a volleyball championship, so we're just trying to get in line uh, for, for a trophy and trying to put in that championship effort and see where it all falls. I know one thing we uh, didn't mention on the highlights, uh, new uniforms this season for the Bulldogs, new Under Armour uniforms. Uh, talk about that partnership with Under Armour and what that's, what that's meant for your guys. You know what, the, the guys are really, really liking the gear. You know, the shoes are comfortable, you know, the uniforms look sharp, so it's been a good thing for us. Uh, it's, been, it's been a good thing with the recruits. And, uh, you know, we look good out there. We look, look sharp. So look good, feel good, play good. Uh, a lot of non-league uh, non, uh, games here on the first few weeks of the season and uh, getting ready for the start of the conference season. Uh, talk about these non-league games, uh, how they're going to help prepare you for what, what's ahead when you start GLIAC play. We, got a, we have a good mix of teams and different styles that we play in the, in the non-conference. Um, some on the road, some at home. So uh, what it will do is it gives us some time to figure some things out about ourselves, settle into a nice conference rotation, and then when the conference hit, it's just uh, another level up. So we've had, we have the exhibition, uh, we bump it up here to the regular season, then you bump it up one more time once you get to GLIAC play, and then uh, hopefully we can bump it up again in, in tournament play. Finally here, what do you see as uh, some of your strengths uh, for your team this season after the first couple exhibition games? Well, we're trying to run the floor um, and put that type of pressure to get back and transition on the other team, and then we're just trying to share the ball. We're trying to pass that thing around and get, and get it side to side, let people touch it, and then uh, when somebody's open, hopefully close to the basket, they can shoot it. Well, Coach, uh, congratulations again on the win over uh, Calvin College to wrap up the exhibition season. Best of luck uh, here this weekend as you start your season on the road. Thanks, Robert. That's going to do it for another episode of Ferris Sports Update. A reminder, you can follow all the action, get all the updates online at ferrostatebulldogs.com. Have a great week.